So what is it like to live in Los Angeles, the second biggest city in America, 500 square miles, 400 neighborhoods, 3.8 million people live in LA, 10 million in LA County and 40 million people in California from all around the country and all around the world. I moved here in 2008. So today I'm going to be telling you what is it like to live in this city? I'm from just outside London. I really know what a great city vibe is. So if you want to stay tuned, find out about Los Angeles, let's get started. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a realtor here in LA. And if you're looking to make a move in the next nine or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, write me an email. Absolutely love it when I get calls from people like you. And if you're a little daunted about making a gigantic leap of faith and moving to a new city like Los Angeles, I did it in 2008. I know the trepidation. Give me a call. Happily talk uh, about the process with you. I hope to hear from you. So if moving here from out of state or out of the country, the first thing I would mention to you is LA is not a city as far as I'm concerned. Yes, it has a downtown and downtown LA has come a long way in the last five years. Um, the public transportation downtown is great. The walkability the bars and restaurants, hotels, really, really nice. And there is history there. But LA as a whole, 400 neighborhoods, it's just a giant amount of suburbs put together. The bigger the population, the more sprawling it got. So for example, if you live in Santa Monica on the west side of LA, and you wanna go meet friends in Los Feliz on the east side of LA, and you're meeting them for dinner at seven o'clock, guess what? That's gonna take you about one and a half hours to go 25 miles. Now, if you're moving from out of state, 25 miles might only take you 25 minutes, but in LA, it's such a vast, sprawling community. Generally, where you live is where you work and where you hang out. If your friends are 25 miles away and you're like, guess what, I can't wait, we're gonna hang out every weekend, we're gonna hang out once in the week, probably not gonna happen. What I've noticed about LA, people make these grandioso decisions all the time. We're gonna hang out all the time. That never happens. So when you're looking to move to a neighborhood, make sure it's close to anyone close to you that you wanna be with and make sure it's a neighborhood that you love because you're gonna be spending a lot of time there, trust me. And because there's 400 neighborhoods and this is Los Angeles, Tinseltown, celebrities, rich people, there's a huge disparity in prices of neighborhoods. For example, some neighborhoods, one bedroom condo, you can rent for $1,200. Other neighborhoods, that one bedroom condo is gonna cost you two and a half thousand. If you're looking to rent in Santa Monica and you want a two bedroom condo, you better have over three, three and a half thousand dollars to spend. And the same goes with prices. Yes, if you want a nice three bed, two bedroom, uh, three bed, two bath home, and you're looking to live anywhere in LA, you could move to a beach town like Long Beach, find a nice house for about $850,000, $900,000. But if you wanna live up near Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, Culver City, that neighborhood, you better have 1.5 to $2 million to spend. And if you wanna go in the ritzy part of Santa Monica, the Palisades, Beverly Hills, four, $5 million is, gonna, is, is, is what you're gonna need. So depending on where you live in LA, really depends on your budget. This is why 63% of people actually rent in Los Angeles. It's so expensive. Um, if you're single in your 20s, a good salary, if you ask me, is probably around sixty-five dollars to $80,000 a year. Um, if you're young, single, living in a one or two bedroom condo, you can have a nice living on that. If you're a young couple with a young family, when I say young couple, I'm talking maybe early to mid 30s, really $150,000 a year combined income is, what need, is what's needed to, to rent a nice place in a good neighborhood and have a nice LA life. The closer you can get to $200,000, the better. Um, and if you're looking to buy in these nice swish areas, well, you're probably gonna be north of $200,000, otherwise you're gonna be house rich and cash poor. And the reason you need to earn some more money is because there's so much to do in LA. You wanna go wine tasting, you can go north or south, Paso Roblo, um, Napa Valley, Temecula. You wanna go skiing, you've got Big Bear, you've got Mount Baldy, 45 minutes away, you've got Mammoth Mountain, four and a half hours away. Or if you wanna go surfing, guess what? You've got Malibu, you've got Venice, you've got Santa Monica. 
I had a roommate once and one day he went surfing and I went skiing. We met up for a beer that evening. That's what's so special about the Californian lifestyle. You want to go camping. You want to go fishing. You want to go and stay in fancy hotels. Everything is catered for. And if you want to jump on a two hour flight and be out of the country and have a beautiful beach destination, guess what? You've got Cabo just two hours away. You've got Cancun four hours away and you've got uh, Hawaii five hours away. So um, if you live in California, there is so many things for you to do, which is why, guess what? Friends and family will come and want to visit you. And you absolutely need a car in Los Angeles. Average commute time is about 45 minutes. And yeah, if you live in Santa Monica, congratulations, walkability is great. If you work in Santa Monica too, you probably don't need a car. Same with downtown LA. If you live and work in downtown LA, uh, the hustle and bustle, like I said, it's the closest you get to a city vibe in LA. It's got the metro, there's buses, the walkability is great. You probably don't need a car. But if you're moving to Los Angeles, you've got a family, you're looking to travel, do not show up without a car, big mistake. And let's talk crime. Yeah, we're in a major city. There's always going to be crimes. No matter where you are in the world, in major cities, there's crimes. So as you can see here, crime in Los Angeles is definitely higher than the national average. But do I feel unsafe in Los Angeles? No. Are there unsafe areas? Yes. Um, if you go to Palos Verde in the South Bay or Brentwood, crime is very, very low. So once again, it really depends on, on where you're living uh, within the city of Los Angeles. Definitely check that out. I always like going on niche.com, uh, shows the neighborhoods, schools, crimes, what it's like to live there. So definitely check out niche.com. But crime in Los Angeles, yes, it's there. Of course it is. Um, but like I said, do I feel unsafe? No. But then I am a man, a very strong, tough man. <laughs> now, I don't know what it's like. Maybe for women walking at night, it could potentially be different. Um, but from, from what I've seen generally in Los Angeles, I feel pretty safe here. I know the weather is always mentioned in California, but let's get to it right now. 300 days of sunshine. It's a Mediterranean sort of temperature, if you ask me. Obviously, the closer you are to the water, the better the weather. If you're in Los Feliz, Burbank, Glendale, um, Holly, uh, North Hollywood, the valley, it can get hot. Um, it's about 15 degrees hotter in the summer than, say, Santa Monica or Newport Beach in the OC um, or Hermosa Beach or South Bay. So, yes, the closer you are to the water, the better the temperature. But it's never brutal. Like the humidity, like in a Florida or Texas, is just not there. The bugs are just not there. So really in the summer, you're looking in maybe the mid 80s to the high 80s. And then in the winter, we just had one week of rain. That's probably it for the year. And in the winter, it's still really in the mid 50s. It doesn't get that cold. And LA for me has a young vibe. Um, everyone just seems a little bit younger. A lot of people say because there's no seasons in LA, people don't really grow up. You always hear of the Peter Pan syndrome here. Often hear women saying they can't date because men just don't grow up. They're staying young. And then when you read about the psychiatry behind this, when there's no seasons, our brains don't really think that time is moving, which would kind of stay the same. Um, so I do think it's a very young city. Even 40 and 50 year olds, it's very healthy. Everyone's kind of working out or, or looking to eat well, um, going to the farmer's markets, um, being outdoors, hiking, bike riding, rollerblading. So if that's your vibe, and you're in a state right now and you want to be doing all this, but the weather maybe is not conducive or not enough people are doing it, come over to LA. People are really, really healthy and I really like the vibe. LA has the second largest public school uh, system in the whole country, uh, just behind New York, which has the largest. And yeah, it gets a bad rap. It's funny. You talk to quite a lot of um, local people in LA and they never... They never that talk that highly of the education system. They're always grumbling. I don't know if that's just LA people. We like to moan more than most potentially. Um, you know, in a leeway from that, people always say, oh, LA people are stuck up. I haven't really found that. I think you're going to find stuck up people no matter where you go. I find LA people very welcoming. Um, no one is really born and raised in LA. So everyone's kind of in it together. Uh, because of that, I do think there's a good community vibe. Obviously, let's talk about the homeless situation. Um, it's got pretty bad the last five years. There was always homeless people in, in, in LA. 
since the 1930s, since whenever LA began, there's obviously been homeless. And there's homeless in every city, in every country in the world, right? But the last five years in LA, it's definitely exploded. I used to live up in Los Feliz, Silver Lake. When I was there, there was a few famous homeless people. You always saw them. It was always the same two or three guys. Now there's hundreds, okay? Downtown LA, obviously, it's getting worse and worse and worse. But even now in Santa Monica, one of the most expensive areas of LA, homeless problem, definitely. Redondo Beach, um, almost anywhere, even in Brentwood on San Vicente, there's still going to be homeless people. And there's average price for a house there is four and a half million. So yeah, unfortunately, the homeless problem is um, getting worse. And is the, the city or the county doing anything about it? They will tell you yes, um, but I don't think so. They're about to raise taxes on anyone selling $5 million homes in LA County, and that tax is supposedly going to pay for homeless problems. Um, but I haven't really seen it getting better at all. Sports. A lot of sports in LA, no matter if you like soccer, American football, basketball, baseball, uh, hockey, track, you name it, sports galore. Obviously, um, outdoors. But the major teams as well. So if you want to come and go to the SoFi Stadium, watch the Rams, what an unbelievable stadium. Um, there's a lot of sports, a lot of concerts as well, obviously, um, in LA. If you go up into uh, Los Feliz, there's the Greek theater, which I absolutely love. The Hollywood Bowl, I went to see Andre Bocelli, which is brilliant. Um, there's LA Live. There's uh, the Staples Center, which is now um, the Crypto Center. So there's an abundance of things to do. That's one beautiful thing about Los Angeles. Really, they say London is the city that never sleeps, and they say New York is the city that never sleeps. LA's pretty up there as well. Um, bars pretty much are done by one-ish in LA. And so if you're coming to LA and you want to be staying out all night and partying, there's a great party vibe, don't get me wrong, but people are really generally going home around 1, 1.30. It's definitely not like uh, New York or other major cities around the world um, in that way. LA is a melting pot of cultures as well. Like I said, people coming from all around the world. So you name it, every type of food, types of culture. And LA is inclusive. Um, yeah, you always hear hate crimes no matter where you are in the world, really. So yes, you'll hear them in LA, of course. But generally, from what I've seen from being here for, what, 15 years, people are generally inclusive. It's a happy state, I think. Uh, a lot of happiness here. If you look, it's one of the happiest states in the in the country. I don't know how they measure that, um, but that's what a few reports I've been reading saying LA is one of the happiest states in the country. Um, so, yeah, very inclusive. No matter what food you want, I love curries, Indian food. Um, you're going to find it. But also, LA in the last two or three years has got super super expensive. Really, I don't know how people are affording it now, to be honest. Eating out, well, there's two of you. If you, if you get a bill for 150, less than $150, congratulations if you're having a couple of glasses of wine with it. Um, grocery shopping, gas, obviously taxes here in California are higher than other states, so definitely check that out if you are considering moving here. It is a really, really expensive state to live in. And if you're 19, 20 years old, bright eyed and bushy tails, and you're coming to Hollywood to live the life, Hollywood is not what you think. Trust me, when you're watching the Kardashians and all of this, they don't even live in Hollywood. They live in Calabasas. They've probably never even been to Hollywood. It's pretty dingy, um, homeless people. So if you're looking to move to Hollywood um, to become rich and famous, I don't know if I'd recommend living in Hollywood. Um, it's a bit of a dive. It's too expensive for what it offers. And there's neighboring areas that I would definitely recommend. Um, and in LA as a whole, some of my favorite neighborhoods, which I think are price friendly. I really like Culver City. Um, I think that ticks, is all, ticks all the boxes. Good location. West Hollywood. Los Feliz is expensive, um, but I do love it there. Glendale. Burbank, Pasadena on the um, east side. On the west side, obviously Santa Monica is where a lot of people, it's trendy, a lot of young people live by the water. Um, Venice, Playa Vista, Playa del Rey, really nice communities going up there, definitely worth checking out. And if you want it a little bit cheaper, check out North Hollywood, Studio City. 
um, those areas. Um, there's a lot of nice areas in LA, a lot to choose from, so definitely do your research. Or give me a call or reach out. I am more than willing to help. I've literally lived all around LA, um, so I know it very well and would be happy to help you. So coming from near London, what do I think about LA? I actually think it's great. Whether you're 19 years old and moving here or 79 years old and retiring here, the outdoors, amazing. The weather, um, the amount of people, the diversity, the creatives, the conversations. Um, the dream is alive in LA, I feel. Um, it has potential for you if you are moving here. The jobs, the average salary. You need a lot of money to live here, but there is potential to earn a lot of money. Um, whether you like the mountains or the water, um, camping, fishing, or high-class hotels, Los Angeles, for me, has everything. Um, I really do think it's a great place to move to. If you have young kids, they're gonna absolutely love it. Um, there are great schools, um, obviously excellent private schools. Um, the only drawback is public transport, which is why you need a car. Commute times, it can get extremely busy after five o'clock most days of the week. Um, but Los Angeles, for me, um, is it New York? Is it London? No but it's a great place to raise a family. It's a great place to start a life. And uh, I would highly recommend it. And me personally, I have no plans on ever leaving, I don't think. It's, it's that great a place. And uh, if you have any questions, give me a call. Matt Tilly, the British bloke, realtor here in LA. And uh, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you in my next video.